What's up? Titty, boobs, nipples, all that good shit. I've been having a lot of people ask me questions about, well, I've been telling a lot of people about my bug out bag and shit about it. I figured it's more stuff to encourage people as it, I think it's just something that everybody should have. I mean, whether it's something simple or elaborate, you know, I think somebody should have a survival bag or bug out bag of some sorts with them. And I've been talking about mine and a lot of people was asking me, asking me a lot of questions about it. I figured I'd do a review of it. I don't know if I can get the whole thing in here. This would be my bag. All right. It's, I weighed it in, it's 19 pounds. And what I like about it, it has these straps that come across about where your belt is and these other straps that come across your chest. And what I like about that is the weight gets dissipated across you. So even though you have a little bit heavier of a bag, it's, it's not going to feel like it. Because if you find yourself in a situation, you could be out, who knows, day, two days. I mean, you don't want to be, but if you are, at least you as comfortable as you can when you're doing it. Um, when I'm talking about the items that I have in it, it's not necessarily going to be in an order of importance. It's just going to be an order of which pocket I open and what I decided to talk about. So, all right. First, the outermost, I just have some random shit and whatnot. Matches. Got them in a sealed Ziploc bag here. I didn't cap. Sealed Ziploc bag. You never have too many ways to start a fire. I mean, if your lighter doesn't work when it's raining, matches don't work, you need something. Snake bite kit. In Florida, you never know when you need one of these. We got too many venomous snakes down here. So, I mean, what this contains, if it wants to come out. What these are, even though it's the container for it, is actually a, the suction. So wherever you get bit, I mean, you put it on it, put it on the wound, and actually suction it out. Comes with cord where you can tourniquet off. It has instructions that tell you how to do it if you've never had to do it before. It has a razor blade. If you need to cut above where you got bit at. So it's Something useful here in Florida. Knife, nothing special. You don't want nothing folding blade, you want something. I do have a few gadgets, utilities that go on your belt and that would be something I implement if I was to do it. Everything will come out and go on my belt because you never know when you need it in an instance. Just basic fixed blade knife. So that way, you know, you need to cut stuff, you need to defend yourself, you might have to come up with a way to procure a few food so good blades will help you out on that this little sucker might look like a big ass spoon like a shovel you know if you find yourself and you have to encamp out for a while you know a way to keep down on diseases and smell of course you know you're going to end up going to the restroom you know, so you're going to want to dig cat holes, bury your stuff up. I mean, otherwise you're going to end up with smells around your camp. You're going to have to constantly keep moving. And whenever you're in a situation where, in a situation where you need to stay in one spot, you want to keep it as clean as you most possibly can. But in addition to that, you can use it to dig fire pits. You can dig holes to for water purification. A lot of uses you can get out of a shovel so you don't have to dig with your hand. This badass piece of utility. It's a hobo tool. It'll come apart when you open when you open both the fork and the spoon of it. It is stainless steel, so all you have to do is just wipe it off. You don't have to worry about rusting or anything. It has a blade on it. Let's see if it opens from the other side also. which it doesn't want to, but there's a can opener there. And bottle opener here. 
or can opener here, bottle opener on the other one. And not sure why, I guess you want to celebrate. Here have your little corkscrew opener. So I guess you find yourself in that zombie situation and want to get your bottle of champagne before it all hits the fan and, you know, at least you can open it. And it'll clip on belt loop. Hey, kitten. All right. And then, in case you got a partner, just some really thick, heavy duty eating utensils because you don't want to be sharing if you did have somebody else with you. Paper, which I found good. Let me see if I can find the other half of what I use with it for. Naturally, whatever I'm looking for, I can't find. There we go. Right. Sorry about that. Magnesium fire starter. This thing is badass. I mean, if, if you might want to practice with it a few times, what you would do with a blade or a little saw that came with it, scrape you off some magnesium, and what I got the paper for is. When you're out in the woods, you know, and you're trying to scrape it on a big leaf, it's it, it might not go so well. Scrape it on the paper here, and then cup it up in the middle, and you turn it around here to the flint and strike your knife across it. That way your magnesium stays in one spot, ignites easier, but then the paper would help catch it on fire. So it's all aiding in fire procurement. Got two of these hooded ponchos, just the real small, real cheap ones. I mean, when you're out and about, I mean, if it's raining, one, I mean, it's the cold can get you sick. It's gonna demoralize you. But I mean, this way here, you stay dry, keeps you up. Cause I mean, one of the biggest parts of survival, I mean, yes, it's preparedness, but it's the psychological part. It doesn't matter how prepared you are. I mean, if you're just in a shitty mood and down and out, doesn't matter how prepared you are, you're, you're not going to make it. Got 50 foot of cord. Non, it doesn't stretch. I mean, I guess, well, kind of. I mean, I guess you can call it paracord, but it's a good old Walmart stuff. And then got four of these hooks here. So anything you can use it for from trap to using this an assistant with a shelter. I mean, this, this will go good with it. multi-tool and reason for this the reason why I chose this also is because not every situation is going to be something where you're going to be out in a wooded area or out in bumfuck beach I mean you can be in an urban survival situation where anything can happen I mean even a hurricane we don't you don't have to say anything outlandish or anything but even a hurricane you know one of these right here it has screwdrivers on it, it has knives on it has a small saw, pliers obviously, wire cutters. I mean, you can be out and you need to cut through a piece of a fence because just going over isn't happening or you need to take something apart. That way you have the tools to do it. And got a pack of AA batteries because I do have a flashlight, which I'll get to that in a little bit. Extra batteries. So it's light at night is really important. Unless you just don't want to be seen. All right, I have here water purification tablets. All right, what these, so if you can't, if you don't have a way of finding clean water, if you can't boil water, you can filter it the best that you can, add those tablets to it, wait half an hour, and you got clean water. Well, drinkable water, at least. More matches in a fireproof container, got your strike pad in there and 50 matches. Like I said, it's more than one way to start a fire. It doesn't hurt. All 
And all that was in my front bag. Well, what's here? It's in the front pouch. And here, it's cheap, but it's just as accurate as my other compasses. It has a compass on it. It has a whistle. Because if you find yourself out in some shit and trying to holler for help and you're just going to run yourself out too fast, that whistle will save your ass some. Thermometer. So that way you would be able to gauge your temperature because when you're under a stress situation you won't know how hot or how cold it is and you need to know by this whether or not if it's too hot you need to stay in the shade and not travel if it's too cold you need to worry about getting warm instead of traveling and a magnifying glass that would be another way to start a fire if, as long as you got dry goods to start it with all right and the next pouch I just got this thrown in here, but this is just a cover to go over the backpack because when you're out and it starts raining, you want to keep your materials as dry as you can. Wet shit just doesn't help. Folding saw. You might need to cut small limbs to aid in creation of a shelter, fire, or weapons. A spear is the easiest weapon that you can make out in the wild. Just long piece of wood sharpened on the end, it gives it increases your melee range. So even a person, an animal, you're able to fend them off with something like that. And then I have bug spray and sunscreen. You don't know the situation that you're gonna be in. If you have to travel during the day and it's hot and you don't have Closing to cover yourself up, you need the sunscreen. I mean, after you start burning, you're not going to be able to carry your load. It's just going to make decreased morale. This will keep you in a moving state. Same thing with bug spray or mosquito repellent, whatever you want to call it. One, at night, keeps the mosquitoes off you while you sleep. Two, if you're out in the wooded area, spray it on you to keep the mosquitoes off you because you know it when you're out in the woods, you got mosquitoes. Spray it around the bottom of your pants and you keep fleas and ticks off you also. And that helps out a lot. And throughout it, I got four bottles of water with me, which might not seem like a lot, but I mean, we live in Florida, there's water everywhere, and I have multiple ways, whether it be purification tablets or boiling my water, of acquiring water. So these four right here would be enough, but in addition to that, I have another small duffel bag with an extra one gallon of water in it. And that would be it for the middle bag. And the last one, <clears throat> got a hat. Looks 70 man year old hat, but what's good about it, it has this back flap, covers up the back of your neck and your ears, because when you're moving, this will keep the sun off you, make things a lot easier, because that's the first thing that'll burn is your neck. And then you might not think about it, but if you're out there multiple days, you want your extra pair of socks and an extra change of underwear. Reason for that being is because if, if you're out traveling and you're wearing the same socks for multiple days in a row, what's going to happen is you're going to get blisters and you're not going to be able to walk. If you can't walk, then that's more danger for your survival situation. Same thing with underwear. You wear them more than one day in a row when you're out walking, when you're out in the woods doing things, it's going to cause rashes and it's just going to make moving harder for you. So change them, wash your other ones, hang them out for dry, and yet it'll save your ass. Flashlight that I mentioned earlier, if I can recommend, hold on, hey man, hey call me, call me back in about 10 minutes, alright, I'm making a video about the bug out bag I was talking to you about. Coming back 10 minutes, alright man? Alright there. Yep, and that's you Charles. That's my little brother. Serving in the army. Hoorah. <laughs> Flashlight. Um, if I could recommend an LED light because they require less battery power. They're just as bright so that way your light lasts longer and you don't have to carry as much batteries with you. So. Shred paper, you know, 
And I don't want to say it. You're going to end up taking a shit. You don't want to wipe your ass with your hand. Shit paper. Here. covers for them, or bowls, or cups, however you're going to call it, and it all stacks up in one little package, because you're going to want a way to heat food, you're going to want a way to purify water, and this is obviously going to be one way to hold the water while you're boiling it, and it's made out of stainless steel. Really thin, but it's going to be durable and it's not going to rust on you. And then, first aid kit. I'm not really going to get into what all this has in it, but it has everything from bandages to burn care, antibiotics, has every, I mean, everything you could think of in it. And it even has a, a dosage of five days of penicillin. So you don't know what you're in, infections, colds, it'll help you out with that too. Got these camp meals. Can't find an MRI, well I don't want to pay for a fucking MRA. But these right here, they're about 500 calories. Damn good for a meal. You just heat you up some water, mix in with it, you know, ready to go. I'm also soon going to be adding some canned goods. Oh, and the good thing about these also is the expiration date on 2015, so. I'm going to be adding some canned goods also to it. You want high calorie, high protein stuff. I mean, that way you can get the most amount of energy out of your food that you can. And then, I have a 5x7 tart. And it's really light, it's thin, but what you use it with the rope, make you a shelter, make you a tent, you know, that way, get yourself out of the elements, you know, it'll keep you dry, help keep you warm, and, you know, overall boost morale and increase your survivability out in those situations. Now, there are, that's the materials that I have with me in my bag, and there are a few other things that I'm not really going to get into such as defense weapons and whatnot. I mean, you need to carry something with you for defense, whether it be a knife, whether it be a firearm. But whatever you decide, that's not something that you need to elaborate on because another good thing of survival. I mean, this is for educational purposes only, but another good thing of survival is the element of surprise. You don't want people knowing what you have in a defense situation because then they're going to know how to neutralize it as fast as they can. So, you need something. And, well, that's really about it. My bug up bag slash camping bag, it's, it's not gonna go to waste. I mean, I'm obviously gonna use it for an emergency situation bag, but camping, hiking, whatever, I take it with me also, and whatever I use, I replenish. So, it's gonna be used on an active basis. And it's, it's pretty efficient so far, so. Any ideas or anything I should add, anything I should change? I mean, this is just stuff that I think would be necessary in a day-to-day -day situation, but also keep the weight of it down, because that's something also when you're traveling or in a situation like that, weight can also hinder it a lot. So that's one thing I try to keep in mind with that. But if you have any ideas, comments, questions, whatever, I mean, don't be afraid to post or ask me or anything. Well, that's about it. Yeah. Sits.